Hey everyone, I want to give you a quick recap of today's day trading. Today's Wednesday, September 16th. Uh, so I was able to scratch out a little profit here. $259 on the day was the total. Uh, had a nice winner in micro NASDAQ here. Uh, two, plus 250 in Apple, plus 365 in Amazon, plus 140 in Boeing, uh, plus 556, nice runner in Beyond, minus 115 in Facebook, Microsoft, Netflix, NVIDIA, all losers, NVIDIA, or excuse me, NVIDIA, a small winner, and Tesla was my biggest loser at 688, so I had a couple of trades in there. One was a mighty 90, one was a runner uh, that didn't work out. Tesla and I, you know, we used to be best friends. Uh, it's it's kind of gotten me the last few days, but that's okay. Still came out with a green day. Let's take a look at what we did. Uh, first off, the Mighty 90 trades. Uh, the first one of the day we took in Boeing, had this big spike up in price, spike up in volume, and caught a little caught a little down move there. Booked uh, booked a little profit. The losing Mighty 90 that we had in Tesla was this one here. We had this big price push. And uh, price started to kind of chop around, so we just got out, took a little bit of a loss. Uh, obviously, in hindsight, looking back, it did end up rolling over, but we didn't want to wait around, and we don't trade in hindsight. So took a loss on that one. Uh, as far as the runners go, I was, uh, well, let's, let's, start with, um, let's start with Micron. So this one just kind of chopped us up. You know, we had this big spike out of the gate and then it just started bouncing around. We took a, we took a runner here. I caught a little piece of this, took some off initially, then it came all the way back down and just started chopping around. I ended up getting out. Uh, it was probably about right in here, about 1130 ish. Yeah. Because the fed announcement was coming out at one and I knew there wasn't going to be much market movement until then. And so I went ahead and just bailed on that one. Uh, now we did, I did come back and get back in after the Fed announcement and, and took some off, but then ended up getting, it came all the way back down and, and took away the profit. So I ended up taking a little loss in Micron overall. Uh, let's see, my biggest winner was the NASDAQ. So after the Fed announcement, so I went into the Fed announcement, I was down, I was down a few hundred bucks on the day. Uh, but was able to catch a really nice runner to the downside in the NASDAQ. So I just kind of let things shake out. Uh, and, and once we kind of broke through those lows, uh, kind of bounced at the initial Fed reaction and then started just cratering, when we started consolidating right here, uh, that's when we got short and I rode this thing almost all the way down. Uh, I booked a nice profit there. Uh, a couple other winners, small winner in Amazon, small winner in Apple. Uh, let's see if there's anything to really point out here. Uh, yeah, no, not really. I mean, uh, with, with, uh, Amazon, I was just able to catch a little bit of, uh, let's see, what was it? Oh, it was this piece. Yeah, it was after the Fed announcement as well. Came down, broke through the lows, started consolidating and just caught a little piece of that. And pretty similar situation in Apple, just caught a little piece to the downside. So, that is the recap of today. Uh, one thing I would say is, you know, we talked about this this morning, and I, I, I mentioned I thought the Fed was was making an announcement this week, uh, but I, I would have cut out my – I probably wouldn't have put as many runners on uh, going into a situation because the market is just – really muted leading up to the Fed announcement. I mean, MU is a perfect example of that where it, I mean, it literally just traded sideways for, for a couple of hours. So you don't, you don't want to get caught in that mess. And so looking back in hindsight, if I say there's one thing that I could have done better today, it would have been just after the, after the morning session, you know, at 10 AM, 90 minutes after the market opened, I should have just closed all my trades, waited until the Fed announcement and potentially, you know, jump back in the way I did. Um, so I got, I did get chopped up a little bit, but still a green day plus 259. Uh, that's what I got for you. Hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, let me know.